Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, the 21st of August. I hope you've had a really good week. I spent a couple of days of this week up at Townsville uh, engaging with all levels and all colours of government um, and candidates. Uh, it's important, particularly in the lead up to the Queensland election, for um, Sikhi University to get its messages out about its priorities, but also its messages out about what it does for the community and how important Sikhi University is in the community and therefore the support that it's looking for from community leaders and, and industry and others. So I, I think that was a successful couple of days up at Townsville and great to see all the staff up at Townsville there as well. Um, uh, you would have heard, noticed from perhaps my social media that it's National Science Week this week and as a scientist myself I couldn't help but, but bump elbows with, a, with our, um, our Vice President Research Grant Stanley um, to celebrate Science Week. Uh, more broadly, um, we have great researchers, not just scientists, but great researchers across the board. Um, did you know, for example, that there's, um, we should be really proud that across Queensland, there's 80 projects. This is from all universities and researchers, 80 projects on COVID-19 alone. Um, and Sikhi University researchers are amongst that. Uh, but I guess National Science Week is an opportunity for us to celebrate that section of researchers that are scientists, um, particularly, you know, searches for, for vaccines, for COVID-19 and, you know, other related health work we, that gets a lot of focus, but, but lots of other great work by scientists. So uh, this is the week to celebrate the great work by scientists. Well done, everybody. Uh, what else? Oh, yes. Also this week uh, uh, was the inaugural Bangalanga event. Um, now, Bangalanga is uh, a Noongar word um, for exchange, exchange of ideas. The Noongar people are, are the traditional custodians of the land in a big chunk of land in Southwest WA. In fact, one of the largest Aboriginal cultural blocks uh, in Australia, in Southwest WA. Anyway, our uh, vice, uh, Associate Vice President, AVP, Professor Rob Brown and his team organised an event which they called Bangalanga. I like saying the word Bangalanga, you can tell. Um, it, as I say, it's exchange of ideas. It's effectively a virtual online workshop. And they got um, uh, politicians and industry leaders and educators and all that stuff from all around WA together to address this topic. What can a, a modern contemporary 21st century university contribute to regional Western Australia in a post COVID-19 environment? Uh, it's a, a great question and uh, I was privileged to give it the opening uh, uh, discussion, opening speech, um, and just setting the context of just what we contribute more generally to regional Australia and how important universities are to, to, to communities. Uh, but then of course uh, we had a couple of great keynote speakers and great discussion after that. Um, Carolyn Perkins, the uh, CEO of the Regional Universities Network spoke after me and um, uh, Dr. Dr. Kim Horton, who's the Chief Economist of, uh, of uh, Regional Institute of Australia. So, so really some powerful speakers as well. The event went really well. So Rob, to you and your team, well done. Well done for raising our profile. Well done for asking the tough questions. And I understand that the discussion afterwards has led to a real a coalescing of ideas of the importance of Sikhi University in Western Australia and we'll use those ideas and all those voices to make sure that we uh, promote our activities and our priorities in WA to all those that listen, not least the politicians. So well done, Rob, and well done to the team. Um, speak, uh, speaking of sending out bouquets, I want to send out a big thank you to marketing for their virtual open days. So they transitioned over the weeks, months of work, uh, from from face-to-face -face open days to virtual open days and by all accounts, with huge success. Uh, we had 1,600 registrants of the virtual open days and it was really, uh, it, you won't be surprised to hear, it wasn't just some naff thing online, really an immersive interactive um, uh, online experience where people could browse virtual brochures, uh, uh, attend webinars, attend chat rooms to interact with their teaching staff and course coordinators, uh, really interact with each other. So really 
clever, innovative ideas online to make them a really successful virtual open days. Besides the marketing team, 170 academic and teaching staff and more than 50 professional staff were all involved in the, in, uh, the virtual open days, in the preparation and in the presentations themselves. So huge shout out to the marketing team, but a huge shout out to all of you who are involved in making that such a success. Well done, everyone. I'm not surprised, but I'm really pleased. Well done. And then my final shout out today is to our students. Our students that are contributing to support of individuals and communities in the COVID-19 environment when, where people are struggling. And I think I particularly would focus the shout out today on our Bachelor of Nursing students. Some of these students are studying part-time and working full-time. Some of them, for example, have been uh, medics in the Defence Force and within a day's notice have been deployed. Uh, some of them down to Melbourne uh, to support uh, uh, quarantine and other areas. Uh, some of them to support the testing either in the, the clinics themselves, uh, COVID, the fever clinics themselves, or back of room testing. Um, what else is happening? Um, some of our nursing students and health students are being deployed for assistance in aged care uh, facilities. So really quite amazing work. And remember that these, these folk are doing this often at a drop of a hat, often putting you know, themselves potentially in harm's way. And they're doing all of this while they're studying, uh, while they're continuing their studying. So well done, I salute you all. Uh, I'm really proud of all our students and I just love hearing those sorts of stories, sorts of things that we contribute along the way. You can just imagine how good they're gonna be as graduates, what they'll contribute to the communities. Enough of me rambling on, have a great weekend everybody and I'll talk to you next week, bye-bye.